The Scholastic Ball Report is sponsored by UK Sports Medicine and by Clark's Pump and Shop, Crown Trophy, Double Dogs, La Rosa's Pizza, Mingi Beef Jerky, Prep Spin, P Rats, Rafferty's, Roberts Insurance, Sutherland Chevrolet, and by Whitaker Bank. Hello, I'm Gary Ball. This is the 20th year of the Scholastic Ball Report. We've got another great show for you this week. As always, we have a feature from WKYT from around the state of Kentucky. The Roberts Insurance Team of the Week, Lexington Christian Academy High School Boys Basketball Team. They're playing in the All-A State Tournament. The Crown Trophy Scholar Athlete of the Week, Gracie Joe Wilder from Bell County High School. From Nicholasville, we head down to 27 for the Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week with some great sports action. From UK Sports Medicine and Healthcare, Megan Sergeant. But we know what you want. You want the best highlights in the state of Kentucky. We got it. It's game time with Brian Milam, Lee K. Howard, and Lindsey Gall. Madison Central has played the most difficult mm -hmm. in-state schedule of any school we cover. Tonight, Trinity came to Richmond. This has been a good rivalry over the last decade or so since 2012. Trinity holds a 6-4 lead on Central. Two of the state's best coaches going at it. And we pick it up in the second. Mike Zabo's squad grabs the lead. Cam McLean, the deep three, rocks by two. Back come the Indians. Under Allen Feldhouse Jr. And when Robbie Todd's hitting threes, the big fella, it's got to be good. Indians up a digit, but the Rocks had a lot of answers tonight. C.J. Walls into the lane and hits. And Madison Central falls by Baker's dozen, 63-50. to 50. All right, Madison Southern is coming off its worst loss of the season to North Laurel, while Boyle County, they endured their second worst setback of the season at Collins. So one of these teams will get back to the good foot tonight. First quarter, Montavian Quisenberry. Heard of him. Yeah, he's going to leave it for Ja'Kai Tarter. Knocks down a three. Shaky. It's 5-2 to two Rebels. More from the Rebels. Quisenberry, he holds an offer from Mark Stoops on the football field, by the way. But the drive on the court for two right there. Boyle by five at the other end. Southern's Avery Davidson spots up. Three ball. Corner. Good. Madison Southern gets the W. 78-69. The GRC boys have won 17 straight against their longtime rival Montgomery County, and lately it hasn't been pretty. Two weeks ago, the Tribe got tomahawked 85-51 for breaking out the sweet digs, trying to get the turn of fortune. That's Sterling. Early on, it's Brecken Decker. He uses the hardwood and the hardware, and John Barry Bentley says, hey, let's keep this thing going. Trey Carroll looks right, goes left, hits the floater. He's stoked. Josh Cook ain't. And, uh, why, hey, the tribe on fire. But the Redbirds get in transition baskets better than just about anybody. Sam Parrish to Trent Edwards for two. Jerome Morton, missile pass to Talik Maxwell for the high percentage shot. GRC got going, and when they do, they get going in a hurry. 87-62, your final. Neighbor helping neighbor. At Whitaker Bank, we believe in giving back to our communities. Through our many sponsorships, we help provide our fellow Kentuckians with family-friendly fun and events and scholarships to help students reach their dreams. We know you need banking to be fast and easy. We help with personalized services like mobile deposit. Get the app today and app snap deposit. Whitaker Bank, uniquely Kentucky. Thing. I want more. And Miss Moore was no different. So when she was injured, she called Morgan and Morgan. With more than $15 billion recovered, she didn't have to ask for more anymore. For a limited time only at Johnny Carino's, enjoy our 5 for $15.99 ribeye steak and shrimp meal deal. Juicy char-grilled ribeye steak, crispy Parmesan shrimp, 
your choice of pasta, bottomless salad, our Italian nachos appetizer, and our fresh baked bread for only $15.99. Famous Dave's Barbecue, now open for it to go. Enjoy a $5 brisket sandwich piled high with smoky Texas beef brisket. Order now at FamousDave's.com. We are the 25%. That's a quarter of all Americans. Over 61 million people with a disability. And we want a world where everyone is 100% included. Just like you. Stop Reed Shepard from being the next McDonald's All-American. The, those McDonald's All-American teams began in 1977, and North Laurel Star is the first Mickey D's All-American to reside east of Lexington. Shepard becomes the first All-American from the Commonwealth to sign with the Wildcats since Rajon Rondo, and Rondo finished his career at Oak Hill. Shepard is averaging 23 points and eight rebounds a game. All right, so we are here with Tyler and Connor of the Lexington Christian Academy Eagles, and uh, we know they, they've done big things so far this season. And uh, guys, uh, I'll start with you, Connor. Um, you getting ready for this All-A Classic. Talk to us about that. Yeah, I mean, uh, last year missed out on it, but uh, this year hoping that make a run and capitalize and just do big things for this school and this program. Tyler, what was your all step to get to the all A? I think it's all it's all mentality. Um, we knew we had the skill last year. We just I felt like we didn't execute, and that feeling uh, of losing last year, we didn't want to feel that again. So I felt like our mentality switched, kind of a dog mentality, and we we were ready for it this year. You guys had a, a big tough battle with uh, Sarah over there in that to punch your ticket to Richmond. Um, just talk to us about that game and, and you know, what the team, you know, feels going into EKU over there. Yeah, I mean, uh, Sarah was a tough team, tough game, but uh, ultimately we had to pull out the win. And uh, I feel like it was just good for everyone on the team. Like, not only the guys that played, but even the guys that didn't play. It was just a good moment for all of us, and it really was, like, a big step for us. Tyler, you're a, you're a round, uh, you know, player, if you will. You know, when you when you talk about all the things that you do out there on the court, um, what got you interested in basketball? I'd say first, my dad, him being he, him being my coach, he's been coaching my whole life, and so I kind of grew up around basketball. And him and my two older brothers, we all just fell in love with it. And you know, getting to play with your older brothers when you're little, it's it's great. So playing with them, they really got me into basketball, really. I love it. Connor, being one of the senior leaders on the team, just talk to us about what it is to uh, be a senior and mentor some of the younger kids. Yeah, it's um, it's really important to me to be a senior and lead the, especially the younger kids on the team, but also to set a good example for them. You know, I mean, I've been here for, I've been in the program for a while now, and I'm just trying to teach my ways and help them grow up in the same way I've been taught and growing up in this environment and community. So you've seen the bracket already, you know, over there for, for the All-A. Who do you guys got in that first round, Tyler? Uh, Washington County. So that, that that should be a good one. They played Sayre, so um, we kind of know how, how they match up with some of the teams we've played. They're a good team, but um, I have faith in my guys for sure. How about you, Connor? Yeah, same thing as Tyler. Uh, they're a good team, big team. They got good players, but, I mean, I feel like, I feel like we have the passion to – beat them and go deep in this tournament. Tyler, you know that, uh, you know, LCA's got an all-A state championship under, you know, under the school program here. And, uh, you know, what what would it mean to the fans to bring another one back? For sure. It would, I think it would mean everything. Um, if, if you go into our main gym, um, there's a big picture of that 2018 team, um, including my older brother, Austin Hall. And seeing that, it, it really um, provides motivation for us. We know that it's it's a big deal to win that, and and so this year um, we feel like we have a chance, and we want to give that to our school and to each other for sure. Thursday, you guys get a chance to take that college floor. Yeah. What's what's going through your mind right now? Um, just gotta get used to it. I feel like we have an advantage because we like to run the ball a lot, push the pace, and that bigger floor helps us spread out more. 
and spread the defense. So I feel like that gives us a little advantage, while at the same time also kind of gasses us a little. You know, bigger floor, more running. So we got to get used to it and just play through it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this is the Lexington Christian Academy Eagles. They take on Washington County in the first round of the All A Classic over in Richmond. Of course, uh, Prep's going to be there all week, and uh, this Classic Ball Report as well. So we look forward to seeing the Eagles play over there in uh, Richmond. They are our Roberts Insurance Team of the Week, the Lexington Christian Academy Eagles. Okay, with so many places to buy new appliances, where should you go? A big box store? How about a warehouse club? I don't think so. Go where your neighbors go. p Rants was voted Central Kentucky's favorite place to buy appliances. Here's why. They have all the major brands at the guaranteed lowest price. Low interest financing with options to fit any budget. Plus an award-winning in-house service and installation team. Voted Central Kentucky's favorite place for appliances. We're the best in the bluegrass. Nobody beats p Rats. No matter who you cheer for or what the sport. Clark's Puppet Shop is there to support the young people who play. Whether it's a snack on the way to the game or restocking on the way home, Clark's is the winning stop. And when you're choosing from drinks, chips, or a one-of-a-kind crispy crunchy chicken, you'll be a winner no matter what the scoreboard says. Clark's Puppet Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, there's only one thing you need to do. Call 800-800-4600. We stand up to the insurance company for all the money you deserve. Call 800-800-4600. We know how to turn low insurance offers into big settlements. Call 800-800-4600. When you need a lawyer, ask anyone in Kentucky. They'll say, get Hughes and Coleman and get it done. Call 800-800-4600. I'm an ex-drug dealer, and I'll be your sub today. Two milligrams of fentanyl can be lethal. A lethal dose is in here. Who gets it, I won't know. It's cheap, it's potent, and it's profitable. The sad reality is fentanyl is being mixed into everything now. More kitchen now. Welcome back to the Scholastic Ball Report. William Warfield here with you, the King of Stream, as we talk to Bell County's probably one of the best uh, female basketball stars they've had there in quite a while. And they've had some good ones down there, don't get me wrong. But Gracie Jo Wilder, she's a junior at Bell County. She's had an outstanding season so far. And uh, Gracie Jo, just talk to us about how the season's going for you. Um, the season's going good for me personally and my team. We have all had many successes this year, and we have all grown tremendously throughout the season already. <clears throat> and our season has been full of ups, and we just we're looking forward to the rest of the season to see what else we can take on. I know last week was a huge week for you. You know, averaging what twenty five point three points per game last week, six point six rebounds. And six steals a game, that's a pretty good solid week, especially against the competition you played in that 2A. I um, have never really wanted to, like, I've never really been fully offensive-minded. And then with having, like, Coach Teague and Coach Perry and Coach McGeorge behind me all the time, like, pushing me to be my best, it has helped me to realize that I can do more than what I thought I could. And it has made me realize that if no matter what I do, if I do it strong, that – Stuff will come out successful for me and my team. You certainly have done a great job. Your your team showed up pretty well over in that two way too. And I saw the emotion on your face whenever you guys lost that that game. But uh, you know you could tell you guys really really cared about being there in Owensboro. And but you bounced back. You came back and you played Harlan and you had a big game in that game with thirty nine points. Yeah, um, Harlan is our actually our biggest rival of the season, if you want to call it that. It's one of it's our biggest district game of the year, so it was a very big game for us. Yeah, you you showed out in that game, and uh, I think a lot of the media recognized you 
uh, not only for your play at the 2A, but also against that, that game in Harlan. I know 13th Region Media Network had, had put some stuff out on you and some of the other media outlets around. So that's got to make you feel pretty good to get your name out there a little bit more. Yeah, it does. You play uh, summer ball, travel ball with uh, Kentucky Premier, too, and there's there's some really good talent on that team. Yes, Kentucky Premier is a very good program. It has very good kids playing all throughout all age levels, and it's a bunch of talent in one one circuit. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, you are a Scholar Athlete of the Week, so talk to us about the importance of, you know, doing well in the classroom, not only on the basketball court, but – but really striving and for excellence in the classroom. I personally am taking a bunch of college classes this year already, so that way I can be ahead. And my biggest thing is, like, I always tell my mom, like, I want to go to a smart kid's school. I don't want to go to a school just because they're good at sports. I want to go to a school that's going to push me educationally and physically. So I want to be able to um, achieve big things with school and throughout life but also want to be able to go and achieve things with basketball so what's your goals for the rest of this season um my goals personally for the rest of the season is to keep pushing myself to be the best i can be this season and be the best i can be for my team but as a team i know that our biggest goal is to go on in the districts to be able to get to the region and to like make a run at region stay as close as and love each other how we do and always be supportive of each other and just play ball. Gracie Joe Wilder, just a junior down at Bell County, but I got a feeling that we're going to hear a lot more from her, not only the rest of this season, but, you know, you might want to put her on the radar for next year as a Miss Basketball candidate. You heard it here, and, uh, you know, all the Southern media is talking about it as well. So, Gracie Joe, good luck the rest of the season. We hope to see you on down the line and hopefully at Rupp Arena. Thank you. That's Gracie Jo Wilder, the Lady Cats over there at Bell County doing outstanding uh, things on the season, and they continue to roll. And, uh, of course, Gracie Jo Wilder, big game after big game. Keep her name on your radar. You're watching the Scholastic Ball Report. Let's take a look at our Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week. We go to the state capitol for great crossing at Frankfurt. End of the first quarter, the long pass to 6'11", Malachi Marino. He grabs it, catches, pops the three. It was that kind of night for the Warhawks as they take care of Frankfurt 54-33. Congratulations, Malachi Marino. That is the Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week. it up yeah, yeah. and rock it out yeah. we took you backstage and we made you laugh out loud we brought you great stories <laughs> and a front row seat to some of country music's biggest stages but trust us y'all ain't seen nothing yet that's an avalanche of awesome this is a circle network and we are just getting started i'm christy I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Chrissy. I just want to say how grateful I am to this program. Without it, I would have murdered my mother. How many men at this meeting have you slept with? This is a sacred space dedicated to recovery and healing. Six. <laughs> Couldn't imagine life without getting loaded. I have something even better. I have dignity. Mom. Weeknights at 11 on the CW Lexington. Welcome back into the Scholastic Ball Report for the UK Sports Medicine and Healthcare segment. 
Today, we have athletic trainer Megan Surgeon from Lafayette High School and UK Sports Medicine. Welcome in, Megan. Thank you so much for having me. We have a very timely topic today on disordered eating. Very interesting topic. So I will start out with a question on for you to maybe just, just to describe exactly what disordered eating is. So disordered eating, it's pretty much defined um, as any maladaptive eating um, that people are using to control their weight, their behavior, their attitudes, their performance. Um, and so some ways that we see this, and these are we're talking about in more extreme ways, um, but concerns of your weight, um, you're not taking in the proper amount of uh, calories that you would typically need um, to kind of go through day binging and purging. This is the most common um, disordered eating um, classifications that people normally and typically hear about. Um, but then also trying to control your weight kind of in those extreme measures. So these aren't the people um, where they forget to bring their lunch one day at school and so they're not eating. This is something that it happens days on end, you know, year um, and you're really starting to notice, you know, kind of a decrease in someone's performance. So what type of individual or who could have a disordered eating habit? Um, right. So anyone can have a, you know, disordered eating habit. Um, you know, specifically talking about athletes, just to kind of put a number um, to the topic of athletes, about 62% of female athletes um, can have it, and then about 33% of male athletes. So I think that's something that a lot of people don't consider is the fact that this is a male and female situation that we're seeing. It's not just dedicated to females. Um, and so to put an even bigger number to it, um, about 30 million people in general will have have a disordered eating habit over their lifetime, about 10 million of these are men. So when we're talking about men, it's about one in three for every male. Um, and then in general, in the female population, it's about one in every five. Wow, it's a pretty high amount there, even for males. Yes. You don't think about that. Absolutely. So if uh, how could an athlete or a person uh, who have concerns about a friend or another athlete that possibly is suffering from disordered eating, how could they kind of subtly or whatever get them help? Um, so there's a few ways. Um, again, the people that we're seeing this in, especially when it's in athletes, you're seeing an extreme decrease in performance. So this can be in their coordination. Um, they're getting hurt more often. They're breaking bones and they're normally not that type of person. You know, they're losing their speed, their endurance. So because we're seeing this um, most of the time, you know, in an active way, if it's a friend or a teammate and someone feels comfortable talking to them. It's one of those situations where you can pull them aside, you know, and talk to them one-on-one, -on -one. you know, how can I help you? Is everything okay? Um, but sometimes people kind of like the safer option where, you know, especially at this age, it's hard for people to necessarily bring up such a hard topic um, and not want backlash and not want people to get mad at them. So also passively, you know, confiding in your athletic trainer, confiding um, in a teacher or a coach that you're really comfortable with. That's the best way to kind of get the point across. Um, so there's a few ways that athletes especially are kind of able to reach out and kind of help their teammates and their friends that they're seeing this in. Well, thank you, Megan, for that important information on disordered eating and, and for being on the Scholastic Ball Report today. Yes, thank you so much. That's Megan, surgeon from UK Sports Medicine and Lafayette High School, always keeping us healthy for all high school sports. We'll be right back with more on the Scholastic Ball Report. Let's go to London for the Battle of the Laurels, North and South, and UK signee Reed Shepard, recently named McDonald's All-American, the first for this Commonwealth east of Lexington. How about that? How about that? Could the Cardinals pull the upset at home in the Fieldhouse? Well, we'll find out. Here we go. Reed Shepard, cross-court, drive, fast-break, easy bucket, 
And here's what sets Reed Shepard apart. This is cool. Brody Brock, no good. Reed chases it down. Look out. Knocks over John Lowe. But wait a minute. John Lowe stays with the shot. So does Reed Shepard. North Laurel opens on a 19-0 run. Give John an assist. Yeah, then he get then he just chickens out and goes up top to shoot. He like <laughs> he overbusted he? through like a fullback. Gets the layup. Cards down seven. It was all north. 63-46. Jags take it. All right, spanning the last two regular seasons, Pulaski County is 46 and four. Tonight hosting Somerset, the Maroons have the ball, and it's uh, Breck Williams who buries a three from the corner there. Briar Jumper's answer, Indrid Whitaker charges down the lane, spin move and score. Somerset's been got me. Bless that young man there. His father recently passed, and he played well tonight, hitting the tough jumper. The jumper, uh, the rally for the overtime win. Jumpers rally for the overtime win. Pulaski County's first district loss of the season. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. Attention veterans and civilians, have you or loved ones spent time at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune between 1953 and 1987? If so, you may be entitled to significant compensation. Drinking water contamination at Camp Lejeune has been linked to serious diseases, including cancers, kidney injuries, neurological disorders, or other serious injury. If you or a loved one was at Camp Lejeune from 1953 to 1987, call the number on your screen or visit CampLJustice.com immediately for a free consultation. They know all of your secrets. I used to wet my bed. Ross used to wear leg warmers. Your little man is really I'm still Zeus's pediatrician. Chandler entered a vanilla ice lookalike contest and won. <laughs> Ross came in fourth and cried. Joey was in a porno movie. <laughs> Ross married Rachel in Vegas and got divorced again. But they love you anyway. Friends. Weeknights at 7 on the CW Lexington. Well, that's our show for this week. Join us next week for another great Scholastic Ball Report that features high school athletes. As always, special thanks to our Ball Report team, Pratt Spins King of Stream, William Warfield, Joel Clace, our director of WKYT, Bridget DeVries, our executive producer, and also the WKYT sports staff, Brian Malum, Lee K. Howard, and Lindsey Gall. And remember, for those you see and you don't see, you keep your eye on the Scholastic Ball Report. The Scholastic Ball Report was sponsored by UK Sports Medicine and by Clark's Pump and Shop, Crown Trophy, Double Dogs, La Rosa's Pizza, Mingy Beef Jerky, Prep Spin, P Rats, Rafferty's, Roberts Insurance, Sutherland Chevrolet and by Whitaker Bank.